Prosecutors claim the beating began after Gloria Nelligan's grandson stole a pack of gum. Matt Markham has been in the courtroom for much of the trial, and he has more on our continuing coverage tonight. Well, Jerry, before the defense attorney called any witnesses, he first tried to get the case dismissed. He said the evidence didn't prove Gloria Nelligan beat her grandson to death. That request was denied by the judge. The people who took the stand thereafter described a Gloria Nelligan so far we haven't heard about. The woman prosecutors say beat her grandson to death was a good neighbor, as two defense witnesses testified. Gloria Nelligan's attorney called a community leader to the stand. He said Gloria Nelligan would visit the Hamilton Hill Art Center with her children and grandson, Shaheem. Quote, we always saw that she brought the children, Walter Simpkins said. She was very attentive to them. Another witness said she's known Nelligan and the kids for whom she cared for years. Judy Atchinson opened up a community group called Quest for Troubled Families in the Neighborhood. She said Shaheem came in often with his grandmother. Quote, he was very young and he had issues, and she helped him come to terms with the issues he had, Atchinson told the court. Her relationship with the Nelligan family was mostly limited to their involvement with Quest. She saw the difficulties a single parent like Nelligan faced in raising their children through that program. Atchinson testified she went to the Minder Street home for birthday parties and saw more of a glimpse into their lives. Quote, the relationship between Gloria and Shaheem was full of love and concern for the betterment of Shaheem's life and future. Well, Ms. Nelligan's defense here is that her grandson would hurt himself. You remember us saying that earlier in the week, Jerry, purposely, but the prosecutors claim the injuries on the little boy's body were not self-inflicted and caused Shaheem's death. You know, Matt, just a question, only two witnesses for the defense, uh, you know, prosecution had Nelligan's kids testify, video uh, evidence that was submitted. What's next now? Well, they say they may have one more witness, and that would be Monday. But the judge asked both the attorneys today to be ready to present their closing arguments on Monday. So that's likely where we're headed next. All right. So next week we should uh, see it go to the jury. Yep. And we will. Well, there's no jury, no in, this jury case. in this case. The judge Sorry. will decide. Correct. But we'll be there Monday to let you know what does happen. All right, Matt. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.